Brian, Terry Ann from the Disability Digest here with 10 tips to help you get your disability benefits approved in 2023. I'm shooting this video because so I'll put it up on the screen. The report from Social Security shows that the disability applications are going up. The volume is increasing, making it more competitive for you. And the awards are going down, which is the bottom line in green. So I'm in hopes that this information about taking the right steps and doing the right things and what not to do will maximize your chances of getting approved. Hey, uh, before we get started, if you're new here watching our videos, thank you. Welcome. Uh, we provide these big picture videos to help you do three things. Get your disability benefits approved fast. Keep them and maximize them. Uh, so we hope you enjoy this information. If you do, we would appreciate it if you would subscribe. Then you can get other information from us so we can continue to help you and ring the bell. Give it a share. Oh, stay to the end uh, because I'm going to give you, um, these are like the tactical steps that you need to take, but at the end I'm going to give you access to information of what you actually need to prove and how to get step-by-step -step directions to do the whole thing. So if you're going through the approval process and you have not started yet, or may, maybe you have and you're doing this on your own, one of the things that I encourage you to consider is to evaluate um, if you want to use a Social Security Disability Representative. Now, my disclaimer is this, for 17 years, we have provided everything for free. Whatever I know, we put it out there. You can use it all on your own. And that's worked for thousands of people. But for some people, they don't want to do it on their own. Or they don't have the skill set or believe they have the skill set to do it. So representation is an option for them. Um, so uh, think about it this way. The average disability benefit package with disability uh, monthly cash benefits and the Medicare part is $447,000. I'll put the link around here. The most you would pay for a representative fee is $7,200 for a lifetime worth of benefits. I don't know. It's up to you. You have to decide if it's worth it. For, for us, again, we give you everything that you uh, need for free. And even if you use a representative, it will help you understand what they should be doing. Right? So here we go. And some of the steps in um, going through the approval process, what you want to find if you are going to use a representative or if you're going to use the course that we'll provide you for is you want to find an easy way to get information, absorb information and get your application in the system. And if you're having somebody else represent you, then they should take your information down and they should enter it all into the Social Security Disability System for you. If you're using our free disability approval course, which we'll guide you to at the end, we give you step-by-step -step directions of what to gather and how to enter it into the disability application. Following those directions is going to give you, uh, at the initial application, a really good um, opportunity to get approved because you won't be taking a while ass guess, pardon my French, uh, you will be using the same system that our legal team does here to put your information into the system. The next thing is, is how to fill out the forms. You are sent forms from Social Security. Many people we find that contact us after they've done this, they've done these with just taking a guess at them. And this information that you enter into what you can do on a daily basis and your work history will have a significant impact on your case going down the road because if you don't get approved, you're gonna to go to a hearing and a judge will ask you questions about this. So just make sure that you fill those forms out correctly. We have that information here for you. Um, and if you didn't fill them out correctly, you should find out how they are to be filled out correctly because that information is gonna be asked to you again, all right? Um, monitoring your case status is another thing. If you're doing it on your own, it requires you contacting your case manager and making sure that all of the medical information that they need from every doctor is in the case file and all the other information that you've included for evidence like doctor's uh, support letters, maybe handicap uh, uh, stickers or placards or anything like that, it's in there. 
If you're using a disability representative, they have direct access to the case file. They can watch all of that information develop. It's a beautiful tool. Um, and so you should not have to worry about all of that information being gathered. You should just make sure that your representative does it. That's what you're paying for. Um, and <clears throat> one of the next steps is once that information is all gathered into the case file with Social Security, uh, if you're using a representative, you can ask them to communicate in writing. It's called a legal brief or a case theory why they believe you are disabled. Why did they take your case with the uh, intent to help you get approved and communicate that in writing at the very beginning um, so that the tone is set with Social Security Administration. Um, so that's another key step. Um, so those are some of the key ones. If you don't get approved at the initial application or some of that information hasn't been done, then you should go back and do it or your representative should go back and do it like doctor support, understand how the forms need to be filled out, any missing evidence. Um, and again, for the treatment, what you need to say and do to get approved, I'm going to cover that in a separate video. I'll link it at the end here. So if you don't get approved at the initial application or you're already at like reconsideration, it's a slim chance to get approved there. It's like 11.2%. But my encouragement to you is to still take the right steps to do what you need to do there so that you're setting the tone for the case uh, to go to hearing. Um, and if your case doesn't get approved at reconsideration or its reconsideration is not available uh, in your state and it goes to a hearing, this is concerning, becoming more concerning because you can have a beautiful case, but if it goes in front of a bad judge or a judge on a bad day that has a different opinion um, on your disability case, you're really vulnerable to not getting approved. So you want to put your emphasis in at the early stages of your case. I'm not saying ignore uh, the end, but you so that you can ideally get it approved there. But if you do have to go uh, to court, then some of the key steps that representatives should do is update all of your medical records, document any new conditions or anything that's increased in severity since you started. Um, write a brief to the judge once the judge is assigned, prepare you to go to court, help you understand what that environment will be like. Will it be a phone hearing? Will it be in person? And depending on what it is, what's your responsibility? What's your attorney's responsibility in the process to help you communicate uh, to Social Security that you are approved? Um, and what questions you will be asked? So as you go through the course with us, you'll have access to what are the exact questions that you are going to be asked by a judge? We've analyzed a whole bunch of hearings and it's the same series of questions. They just ask them in different ways. So there really isn't any surprises there. So I hope you found this helpful uh, in getting you awarded. I mean, if you have other comments or things that you'd like to know about, make sure you join us in the comments. Um, now I'll put up on the screen what you need to prove um, for your medical side of it. And also here at the Disability Digest, how we can help you maximize your chances. Um, you can watch all the videos you want. It's totally fine. There's over 400 on our YouTube channel. But if you join us as a member or update us as a member and complete an evaluation, which will be a link around the video, um, then we know where you're at in the process and we can get you the exact information. Like somebody that's starting and hasn't applied is different than somebody that's at the hearing stage. Um, and so we can get you uh, the disability approval course, which is no charge. Membership is no charge. And you can go through and use that in conjunction with a representative. If you have one, do it on your own. Or if you'd like to have a representation and, or explore that option and you, uh, and you, again, you don't have one yet, then that's something that we can help you understand and get you in touch with people here at the Disability Digest that we can talk to you about. So um, I hope you find this helpful in getting approved. Um, again, join us in the comments. Encourage you to subscribe, ring the bell, share the video. Best of luck in getting approved. Make it a great day.